What's up, everybody? Uh, it's Blueprint Sessions, another episode we added again. Episode 25. This yeah. time around, I kept count. I added just last in case. No, 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 no. I kept count, so I think, I think it's episode 25. It should it be. Is. Episode 25. But first and foremost, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Lisa M. I want to give a shout out to Tusco D. And I want to give a shout out to Slicker on Life. Um, you guys are super amazing. Your content, absolutely amazing. Um, I've been viewing your content. Uh, super, super, super great. And uh, look, man, it'll be super cool if we could form some sort of relationship. You know what I mean? YouTube vibes. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... We're reaching out. Friendship, okay? All right, cool. Okay. Um, so shout out to you guys. So not even 30 seconds in, he's already sucking up to people we don't even know? Um, I'm not sucking up, number one. I really genuinely do like them, okay? Lisa M, um, I like I like her content. She does makeup tutorials as well as uh, Christian content that she does, which is super, super dope, super amazing. So I absolutely love it. I love viewing it. Um, you love makeup? No, I, li- I love the other stuff she does. Uh, not the, but it's, but, but, what, but some of the oh, things, okay. but some of the things she does, Laura, like super, um, super creative also, because like the one time she, she did a makeup tutorial, but her boyfriend was, was doing like, check, check, listen, listen to me. Let me finish. She did a makeup tutorial, but her boyfriend was actually doing the voiceover for the makeup tutorial. It was super hilarious. And funny, funny. So I enjoyed that. Okay. So still nice makeup. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry that you had to listen to that for so long. And if I am going to have a daughter one day, I have to know about makeup. So, psh, please, bro. All right. Okay. Sure. So, so yeah. judgment here. You can like makeup all you want. Thank man. you, Mandela. Appreciate it. Yeah. A lot of men put on makeup. Yeah. And can I introduce her now? <sighs> no, she just took a snack with me. But it's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, hi. Um, this is Lamlela. She's been on the podcast before. Yes, sir. Twice, right? It's not the third time, yes, twice, twice before. Oh, and it's the first time visual. It's the first time first visual? Time visual. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now you finally see her. <laughs> yeah. It's not like easy. Say hi, Jerry. Hey, everyone. Yeah, I'm being well, so welcome to the show. This is very awkward. I'm yeah. feeling so uncomfortable. I think but I hot. think you feel the same. I think it's a hat. It's bringing a certain atmosphere. It's, first of all, it's not a hat, it's a duke. And secondly, I'm wearing it for emotional reasons. Really? Yes. Um, a lady that I know and love passed away. So here in South Africa, because I am Kosa, to not pay respect, to honor, oh, yeah. we wear a duke. Yeah. Hence. Yeah, it's a sign of like mourning and stuff. Hashtag Ooh. Mini Mandela. Ooh, who though? <laughs> um, one of the, one of my first, one of my favorite pastors, not known, I think, internationally and stuff, but she was Pastor Talia, that was her name, yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so we just went. Yeah. Uh, so everybody, um, we're gonna be speaking about the blueprint today. Um, hopefully this atmosphere I can't <laughs> liven up a little bit. Excuse the choice of words. Um, we're gonna be speaking about the vision of the blueprint, which is blueprint media as a whole, not just blueprint sessions. Um. First of all, I'm I'm the founder of Blueprint. Just in case y'all didn't know, <laughs> and, I, and I'm the co-founder and of Blueprint Sessions. Of Blueprint Sessions, and no, I own fifty-one percent of the shares <laughs> of the company. No. So, <laughs> here we all know, I'm co-founder of Blueprint Sessions because how Blueprint Sessions came about was you and I bouncing idea for another, no. and we're like. Okay, yeah, let's do it. We argued, and I said we should do a podcast. Yeah, and I said that's the same thing I was thinking. And now you guys are arguing in the podcast. <laughs> um, everybody, um, Blueprint Media is the mother of Blueprint Sessions. I, Lamlela, own 51% of the shares. Steel owns none. Ha, 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 ha. This is a very awkward moment. It's a very, very sinister thing to say. But, Randy... Um, I'm enjoying it, man. We just registered the company. How, how did that feel? Whoa, 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 hold up. We're not gonna jump over that like it just didn't happen. Okay, do I really own just 51? Like, okay, wait, does, do I really own nothing? No shares at all? That's a long story. First of all, you got robbed. 
Okay. No, no, no. no you no. don't have a phone. No, no, no. So we can't speak to you. We had to go register. And when we registered, bro, you weren't present. I'm asking. So we do had I... to write on paper. Write what? The shareholders and they have to give their signatures and information. You were in there. But you thought you're the co-founder of Blueprint Sessions. <laughs> that doesn't mean Jack. It does, actually. It means no, a lot. It does. I know. Listen, on paper, she owns 51% because of this whole PEE thing. P is In order to get way. certain um, privileges. privileges, a female has to own 51%. A black one. Uh, well, black woman. So you do realize that um, she basically owns Blueprint Media, right? No, she doesn't. Yes. If she owns 51% shares, she owns it. Not really. Uh, there's, it's paperwork, man, but let's not go nah, there. We're that's, sidetracking from That's exactly there. what I'm saying, though. If she owns 51%, she owns Blue Media, so she's the CEO. She's not. No, I'm not. Right. I'm just one of the directors. He's the CEO. Yeah. Guys, you're a you, director, you, you, too. No, you have, to, you have to explain to me how this works, because if she owns 51%, mm. okay, she might not be CEO. Okay, that, that, that also still is very possible, but... She owns the company, though, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. on paper. There is actually on paper. an internal agreement. But on paper. Yeah, but I still have more say than her. Hmm. In what way? In what sense? Contractual. It's all in the contract, Steel. Let it go, Steel. Let it go, she man. Is, she owns more, yeah. Okay, fine. I'm not part of Blueprint Media in any case, so I just... We we catching no, 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 no. I, I'm not. That's the truth, though. I'm not part of Blueprint Media. I'm part of Blueprint Sessions. I'm a co-founder of Blueprint Sessions. That's it. So you are pl part of Blueprint No, Media. but like in that aspect, but I'm not saying like as anything more than that. You feel me? Like it's Blueprint Sessions and... Because there's Blueprint Media, right? And then... Which is the umbrella. Yeah, and then there's Blueprint Sessions under Blueprint Med Media, right? So, me, now, I'm part of Blueprint Sessions, not Blueprint Media. You feel me? Yes. No, I don't feel you. I think you just catch your feelings. I'm not catching like feelings. I'm, like, if I was catching feelings, I'd be like, guys, no, I ain't percentages. But because I understand the dynamics of, like, the fact that, you know, there's Blueprint Media, there's Blueprint Sessions. I'm not part of Blueprint Media. I'm part of Blueprint Sessions. I'm, I'm a, I'm a co-host with Blueprint Sessions. You feel me? Okay. So, he sounds better. Uh... Back to explaining the vision. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> wow. We, we as this the print media, um, well, basically the, the main core and main vision behind Blueprint, Blueprint, which is Blueprint Media, is to get a group of individuals which are in media, whether you do camera, uh, dog walk, <laughs> <laughs> Laven, Mango, Jaden, what, Nathaniel, <laughs> Mercedes. Are you going to name all your colleagues, man? Yeah, I'm naming them just so they feel special. Um, if you do photography, let's take it. I'll see you. Okay, she's left. <laughs> uh, or if you do music, uh, anything media related, graphic design, whatever you want to do media wise, you can link up with us as Blueprint Media. We are not a group. We, are, we don't own you, even if you are part of Blueprint. You're still welcome to do whatever you want to do. The only main concept behind the Blueprint is for us to link up together and help each other build our profiles. Okay, wait, so let me, let me get a better understanding of this. Oh, okay. Jesus, why are you interviewing me? No, I'm not, I'm not interviewing you. I'm trying to get a better understanding of it, okay? Because if I have this question, someone else might have this question. Actually, All right. No. Duh. Talk yourself out. I mean, duh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm just going to ask the question since Mr. Blueprint tried to block me, but I served around. Anyway, <laughs> I want to ask the question. So is, is Blueprint Media like an agency of some sort that kind of helps people... Um, get, get to together. where they where, where they want to get. Yeah. So it's it like sort of like a marketing agency. Yeah. Oh, so I'm 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 gonna put it to you this way, still. You're a music artist, right? <laughs> but well, well okay, let's yeah. not call you that because yeah, uh -huh. uh, you are part timer. Music. 
Now, let's say you want to work on a music project, right? Yeah, sure. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of things that you can't do. Yeah. Alone. That you need. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you can only write a song. Other than that, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, okay, I can do other stuff. Like what? I, 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 Let's just say for the, for the sake no, of the I'm not, example. No, I'm not talking, not talking instruments. I can't play an instrument. Um, no, um, I know him. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is I, I, can, I can write songs, yes, definitely. I can... You record them, yes. I can record them, yes. Um, Your own vocals, that is. Yeah, vocals, yes. No, I'm not talking mm. like... Um, but in terms of um, executive producing also, I, I, I do that also. First of all, the title executive producer is overrated because people just claim it. But no, anyways, I'm not just that... claiming it. I'm saying it, bro. Like, okay, oh, okay. I write for other people oh, also. Okay. I can write songs for other people also. Yeah. G gentlemen, gentlemen. Who, who, who song have you written? No, I've written a couple. I've written for some who? songs. I'm not gonna. I'm, it's not in your business. I'm not gonna mention that here. You write right for Drake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to take Guys, Drake is a good artist. There's no need to take these punches. Wow. This guy This guy is uh, salty. I'm sorry. I don't I'm even sorry. know. I'm wow. sorry. Jeez, wow. brothers. Dude. As I was explaining yeah. before you really interrupted sure, let's me. Go. Yeah. Uh, you're a music artist. Now, there's a lot of things that you cannot do on yourself. Mm -hmm, true. Like, for one, you need a producer, and you need a Beat composer, maker. and you need an engineer. 100%. You need a graphic designer. 100%. You need a marketing team. You need uh, photography. Whatever you need in terms of making your album. Hmm. All those people, you don't, let's say you don't know them. You know. Mm. But here at Blueprint, we have can get connections. people who can do that. Okay. So they can help you out with your dilemma. Okay, now. Okay, if that's the case, then yeah. how much is there anything that I have to contribute or pay to get to 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 get um, that service? At times, yeah, but it's not the main concept. The main concept, like I'm gonna I'm gonna speak about my project, the art and art. Yeah, had to represent. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, man. <laughs> Uh, the Art and Heart, um, awesome project, by the way. Uh, are you going to deny that? I'm saying we're not talking about the Art and Heart. We're talking about Blue Blue. We actually are. Actually. Okay. Okay. Um, as I was saying, when I made the Art and Heart, um, I didn't have a photographer. Mm. This was before Lamlela. Now she's my photographer. Yes. Uh, Lamlela plays a, a lot of roles, by the way. Yeah, she's multi worst. Yeah. Um, Business I, woman, entrepreneur. Yeah, I got Mango to help me out with <laughs> photography. Mango did my photo shoot for me, okay, for yeah. my project, sure. as you remember. Yeah. And no, she's not my girlfriend. Uh, Mango. Mango's a man. What's going on? What, no, what the girl I here? was with in the photo shoot, people thought she was my girlfriend. Man. So I'm like clarifying, verbally saying verbatim, she's not my girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> you wanted to be. <laughs> this dude, bro. As I was saying, uh, Mango helped me out with the photo shoot okay. for, for the project. And um, then graphic designing, I didn't have a graphic design. That was before I learned anything because now I can do artwork. Hey, hey. Um, then uh, the guy who helped me out with the graphic design was Unat D, a very close friend of mine, um, who is also a fan of the of Blueprint Sessions. Uh, he helped me out with graphic designing. Now, this is the concept that I'm trying to explain to you. Oh, and Digo, you know Digo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he helped me out with the production and Wiz. They helped me out with the production. Shout out Wiz. Shout out yeah, Digo shout also. out to Wiz, Digo. Shout out. Yeah, um, these are all the people that, that helped me out on my project, which is the same thing that I'm trying to explain to people, is that we all in media, we all have the same goals. The only difference is, is which road we taking to get there. Yeah. Like, um, instead of us holding on to our talents and be like, no, I'm only willing to do this for money, but you don't have a profile because you're not doing anything. Yeah. But if we work together, we build each other's profiles, we have experience, we can approach people and be like, this is my catalog. 
Really? I'm not mad at that. I feel that actually. Now, manjege. Okay, I need to understand this again because does okay. For instance, does someone like? Uh, Why does this feel like an interview? It's not an interview, but I'm asking because <laughs> it's genuine. It's a genuine question that I have. What do you want me to do? Not ask. I'm gonna ask. Please bro. ask the okay. questions, Glenn. Exactly. I'll take this one. Yeah. <laughs> so and this is what I want to find out. I mean, would you like? Does someone get signed to a blueprint media? No. Like as as. As a, a blueprint media artist or a blueprint media photographer or a blueprint media uh, engineer or whatever, like something of that nature, like what what's the what's the process like exactly? Because I'm not understanding 100%. Um, I feel for for the extent of signing, um, it's not like a record label where you sign and you become our artist, but you do sign with us in terms of services, right? So in 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 you're not gonna go and now pay a photographer and pay a separate engineer you, you you sort of pay like a very minimum fee to blueprint media which then distributes the funds across all those networks okay. so you get to access everything at a much much cheaper rate honestly so you do get your hands on the photographer that you need if you're a model if you are if you're trying to just trying to build your brand mm -hmm. so you get the photography that you need but also you get everything that comes with being in the industry i think what uh randy forgot which was one of the one of the things that fueled us into making blueprint media what it is is the, is artists we see with so much potential mm -hmm. but because they're not known or because they're not up there they have no access to the proper type of equipment to the proper type of works so they produce work of a low standard but they are themselves as a person are very talented so we're just trying to find the best p space and place to cultivate that that gold in them oh. so you guys you guys like um basically are like have connects i've got connections it's like a networking hub yes N networking hub okay, pub. Hub. Sorry. <laughs> Because a pub is a different place, <laughs> and I don't go to pubs. I actually, I actually meant, I actually meant hub. <laughs> I don't go to pubs, but I, I will go to a hub. I actually meant hub, bro. I, I, I apologize. I actually meant hub. Okay, my apologies. Um, Snap. Yeah, what are you? I, I what are you? Pubs. I don't go to pubs. <laughs> That's okay, man. You know what they say. I don't say. go to pubs either. Okay, like I do not. Sorry, I just had to check. But, and and uh, the cool thing about. Well, linking up with us is that you you actually do make money. Like even if you like do stuff for free in terms of within here, but like her, she's now um, gonna do a photo shoot soon mm -hmm. with the artist who's working on his album. Okay. She's gonna charge because he's not part of Blue. Oh, you know. So you get to freelance with other people. It's just that within Blueprint, you benefit. You get everything without having to pay. Okay, now I understand that. I'm not mad at that at all. What I know about... What that, would that, you be mad about? You keep saying no, I'm not mad at no, that. Like, because he are things you, I'm mad yeah, about. He was, saying, he was saying I'm bitter. I'm, I'm like, I'm not bitter because I understand my role. I understand where I'm at. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm not... We have, we've never had those discussions. You understand? We've never had those percentages discussions. We've never had those, nah, bro, you're going to be director or whatever. Like, we've never had those discussions. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm, there's, I'm, there's nothing for me to bid about. I'm, I'm actually happy with where I'm at. Okay, now, this is what I know about, okay, because they wanted to speak, you guys wanted to speak about the vision of Blueprint Media, right? Yeah, yeah. Blueprint Sessions. That's when now I come in as a co-founder of Blueprint <laughs> Sessions. All right? Now, I know the vision for Blueprint Sessions. Like, you, you, I can speak... I can speak on Blueprint Sessions because I know the conversations we've had, what we'd like to see happening with Blueprint Sessions, where we'd like to see Blueprint Sessions go, where we'd like to take it. Obviously, that's the same thing I just said. But, like, you understand, like, Actually, that, that I can... now that you're on topic, yeah. please do explain to people the vision of Blueprint Sessions. Envision your Blueprint Sessions, just like, just like the word itself, Blueprint, right? Mm. And it's, it, for us, when we're having conversations, like, we'd, we'd, love, to, we'd, we'd love to um, have a Blueprint of... Like how people get to where they are, you understand? Like how how did you become who you are, or or how did you become what you are, whatever you doing, whatever your goal was, if you wanted to be, uh, obviously in the context of media, because we 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 media related, mm -hmm. right? 
but also at the same time, while finding out, um, that's why we've had the interviews we've had with social media, people who've worked in social media, people who worked in music, Which people, great yeah, thing. you understand, people who, who uh, do videotography and photography, that's why we've had uh, interviews with, with, all these guests. With, yeah, with all these guests, because um, we just wanted to get a feel of how do you go about that whole process, how do you get to that place that, you know, you understood or knew that, okay, I wanted to do this. And then how did that whole process unfold? Journey. Yeah, that whole journey. How did it come about? How did you get to working where you're working um, as what you wanted to be or the field that you wanted to be working in? So that's, that's like the first thing, right? But also at the same time, we also speak on news and entertainment. If, if I can, if I can put it like that, basically like media related uh, news and entertainment. And we also, it's just unfortunate that we haven't really gotten around to speaking on movies, series, and all these things. We've touched on it just a little bit, like here and there. But yeah, when he spoke about Black Panther, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think they. Yeah. Hey, by the way, by the way, Black Panther won best best movie in my MTV MTV Movie Awards. Uh, so. Plus, we own it. We, we have our own rendition of Black Panther in South Africa. It's called Makanda. <laughs> what? Makanda. It's Gramstown. The new name for Gramstown is Makanda. For real? For real. So I, when, I, when I go to Gramstown, I'm go <laughs> to the people. Okay. I think they're going to get it. It's Makanda. He gets mad every time I speak about, uh, about Black Panther. But anyway, in one best movie, by the way, just uh, yeah, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, like they took a lot of awards home uh, my MTV. But it wasn't the best movie, though. No, but, uh, but, but who? Honestly, Whoa, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, nah, come on. You see, now, now we're derailing now. Wait, hold on. Nah, you see, I don't like Just this. continue explaining. No, 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 no. I have to address no. this. I, it Let's, has give to this be Let's give this three it minutes. Let's give this three minutes. It has to be addressed. Why do you feel the need to always defend yourself? Just let it go and continue with what you were saying. Because it's kind of Okay, um, how else are we going to judge if a movie is the best, okay? That the, what are the awards shows there for? Okay. That's actually very controlled, actually. So it's yeah. not the best way to actually but, judge. But come on, bro. If, if, if it was that controlled, if it was that controlled, would Black Panther would have won? Like, would, would Black Panther? Yeah. Because for me, I feel like um, those other movies that, that the, they were in the category. The category, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, um, excuse my English, okay? I'm not English or anything like that. I'm Zulu, all right? But That's no excuse. Yeah, actually, it isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> to we honest, are it actually isn't. But you don't want to steal now. Yes, please let, explain. Let me, let, me, let me explain this to you. In terms of Black Panther being a movie, yeah. being the best movie, storyline, like the, 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 the art in the mm -hmm. movie was brilliant. It was amazing. I loved it. The, the clothes, amazing. the design, how they incorporated South African culture. But Which and, and not just South African, like culture, but, African but but African culture. culture. It was yeah. beautiful, yeah, but it was like flawed in itself. In it, the movie was flawed in itself. Yeah. First of all, they Close place it somewhere in Africa. Yeah. But like when you look on the map, it's round about Ghana type of places there, Kenya mm. there. And you're thinking, okay, okay, they're probably gonna speak like a language native to where they place it on the map. No, sir. They pick from the bottom of the map. They take oh. languages down there. Awesome. And then yes. after they take Pasa, they call it Zulu. I'm like, guys, come on, please. No, they didn't call it Zulu. They didn't, they didn't call it Zulu. No, 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 no. Nobody called it Zulu in the movie. Not in the movie. It's, who says in the movie in their native language? I'm about to speak English now. <laughs> hey, John, <laughs> stop. Then, then no one says, no, 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 no. In, in the biography no. of the movie, when I was watching, it says, no, oh, they speak African languages. Zulu is incorporated. I'm like, that's not Zulu. I that's understand Pulsa. the language. That's Pulsa. It's not Zulu. Did it say that in the biography? It said that in the biography. I, I don't know that. And then you go and watch the how movie. poor they spoke closer, it makes sense that they would call it Zulu. No. Don't do that, man. The war with Shaka is over. Like the war with know, Shaka no, is over. over. It's not over. Get over it, man. Oh, Until oh. we get the lamb bag, it ain't over. <laughs> that is a whole new topic. Oh my leave goodness gracious! That Just leave that alone, okay? Leave you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. You don't, don't have your ground. name on a title. Those you grounds. Calm you down, don't own any land. I want to get in those grounds. It's jokes, guys. Calm down. Anyway, land issue is quite sensitive in this country. Man. <laughs> it's quite sensitive. Hundred percent. So, but okay, yeah, but you're still saying. Yeah, and then the movie. You you watch the movie, and you 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 anticipating this, and then you just don't get it. You just, it, okay, the, but, but still, it goes, they, 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 
I'm there, but it still doesn't answer my 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 question because for me that's Ooh, what, that's what I that's what I felt like Thanos like uh, what's this, this thing uh, War. Avengers Infinity War was as well. I felt like it was like it was given so much hype, but when you watch the yeah. thing, it, no, it actually wasn't even given hype. Black Infinity Panther War was hype. given hype before. Infinity War. Uh, no, hype. Infinity War got hype afterwards. Mm. Black Panther had hype the it. whole time. I think you know what? Let me say I this. I think people watched them. I think I think no, Black it Panther actually even got hyped even more. Mm, I think Black Panther, if it hadn't received all that hype, it would have been like an average above average movie. But it received all that hype, and then you go and watch it, and mm. you get so let down. Okay, but please tell me. A lot of people. Please happy. tell me which, why, why the award shows there then. If 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 they're gonna win the, that award, and then we're gonna come and say. I no, it wasn't the best movie. Then, then why the award shows there? Okay, first of all, you in media. I thought you would know this basic information. Any awards, it's the higher ups who decide who wins. People don't decide who wins. They just do that in order to get the money. But they decide. Higher ups decide. That's why most people actually don't attend the awards because they know chances are they probably not going to win. But I don't think that. I think even on paper, the movie probably would have won. On paper, not the movie itself. On paper, the, not, the amount of money it made, the viewing it had, the fact that I mean, if but it was a song, it probably won platinum more. first five hours. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm not sure. Who, who, I, I'm not sure what which other movie? movies were in the category. I forgot, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Nah, but in terms of that, that just the behind stories of the of of of, of the movie itself. I mean, the movie created a movement for Africans, it really did. So, so in the, the, that is, do you see that? That's what the movie did to you. That's what it did to you. No, but I'm off that now. <laughs> Brother no, Wakanda, like for no, three months, yeah, like a, he changed his identity because of that no, movie. No, I yeah. did not change my he identity. He was like steel, next thing I knew he was Brother Wakanda. Brother Wakanda. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay, brother. No, Wakanda. leave that alone. But we have digressed so much. Yeah, yeah. But basically, that's what Blueprint Sessions is all about. We have discussions like these about uh, about the entertainment industry, about the music industry, about basically the media industry as a whole. Um, we also know what we want to do with Blueprint Media Sessions. We want to take it. We want to have more interviews of more people who are uh, upcoming. Exactly, upcoming, upcoming people who are still coming up in their fields. Who Music, are very exactly. talented, who are exactly. not known. We want to have sessions where poets can come on here and we can like have a poetry session or a rap session or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like that, a, why? Like, why? Do you I have see to go it. There? I see like, it like, going. Exactly. I don't see it. I'm okay. okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You know what? If people want it, that's what, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. So that's that's those are the type of things that I I see Blueprint Sessions doing. You know, what I mean, we also want to attend red carpet events and interview some of your favorite people. Uh, I think I think celebrities are already. Do what you do, what you think? Do I want to do that? Uh, I don't want to interview. No, but we've, for, had, we've for, had those conversations. But the I core of Blueprint, up now. I think Blueprint as a whole just says celebrities and mainstream mm. is overrated. It's overrated, right? Because we kind of like focus I, on, 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 the, on the smaller fish. On, on, yeah. on the guys that are still upcoming. True. The raw talent. What happens when they True. come out, though? Are we going to just drop them? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. It depends. I think, I, I think, I think, okay, wait, hold on, guys. Okay, I think that there is a balance to this. Okay. Which is? In the sense that celebrities the and the word celebrity uh, celebrities overrated. is and are overrated okay a hundred percent but what they've achieved and what they've done is very very valuable and you want to you know get that knowledge you want to interview those people and find out hey how did you how did you come up here because th that's that's another thing right that's another thing i watch interviews i watch interviews i watch right? them a lot too i watch interviews especially in south africa i watch interviews and it's like they don't give you the gist of how someone went from yeah. where like which is they, exactly they, they like, ask you information you already know Exactly, like we want to know, okay, cool, like how did you go about, like what did you study, what is it that you did, okay, cool, who did you connect with, what school did you go to, like they won't tell you, like so, like I know a celebrity, a celebrity, okay, um, that went to... What, what was that? Huh? Oh, you're not sure if they're a celebrity or not, because no, you're like oh, a celebrity. No, it's just, it's just the we word. don't like the word. Oh. Yeah, it's just the word. But I, I, know, I know an individual who is very popular in her field, you understand who went to the same um, agency that I went to, 
but you would never get access of that information until you go to that to that same um, thing in Majib where they tell you, hey, listen, we've got, uh, we've got a line of people who've attended or come to um, this course or done this course with us. You understand? Like, and I'm like, wow, seriously. So that, those are the type of things that we want to kind of get to the uh, nitty gritty because how many people out there are actually interested in media? And, and I feel like our generation is more media... Driven. driven than like than anything, or oh, not not media driven because that sounds bad. Like, but I mean, all of society is circulates around what do you media. Mean? No, so no, no, I, I, that is the truth. No, though. what what I mean is, I, I feel like um, our, our generation is more. I'm looking for that word, man. It's like it's got social <sighs> media. No, no, yes, but like I, I feel like our, our, our generation is. Is Don't it, be politically no, correct. No, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to be politically correct. I'm trying to say it as it is. I'm, I feel like our generation is, is, is more in touch. No, not dumb down. It's nothing negative. Why are you always talking about the negative things? I'm not talking anything negative. Okay, what's positive about it? I'm talking about, I feel like our generation has more giftings and talents in, re, in like, um, in regards to that right? field. In regards to that field. I just think it might be expressed nah. wrongly. You understand? Uh -huh. I just I just feel like it might be expressed wrongly. I just feel like people just take to social media and then they'll hop on anybody and then they'll diss anybody and they'll do anything and then like almost you understand? I feel like it's misdirected, but I feel like um, initially they've just got a, a passion for media and they've got a um, a talent or a skill of some sort in, in 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 relation to media. That is true. That is true. I mean, if you go back, I don't know, 1940s, 1950s, mm. when people started writing letters, I don't know when they started writing letters. But I mean, I mean, I at, at some point in the hype of it all, I'm pretty sure someone made like a smaller type of envelope and mm. they were like the next big thing. Mm. Same as because that was what was going around. Everyone is always looking for a means of communication mm. and social media offers that really. So I think that's why most of our generation and like, man, our, our little computers they, they, they offer that on, on a platter. Yeah. Then on one phone, you can have over like 100 apps. 100%. And then there's Snapchat, then there's, uh, there's Tumblr, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's WeChat. Is WeChat still around? I don't know. I do. I've never, right. I've never even heard of it. Yeah. Even, even uh, what's this thing that we started with? Mix it. It's still around. Mix it's still around? It's still but around. Mix Does it anyone is use it though? Yeah, Mix it, it wouldn't oh, be around if they gee, didn't man. Whoever still uses yeah, Mixit is true to the cause. It. They are yeah. true to the cause. Yeah, like loyalty. On a new level. Yeah. On a new and, level. Uh, on an unnecessary level. Dude, Facebook is still around. Is BBM still around? It's still around in a weird sense, but it's quickly dying out because Blackberry is gone. No, but Facebook, yeah. Facebook is necessary. Facebook is necessary. But you don't even use Facebook? No. You use Facebook. No, you don't. No, you don't. You use Twitter and you redirect your tweets to Facebook. No, Mark that Zuckerberg is not the same. sees you, bro. Huh? Mark Zuckerberg sees you, bro. Hey, Mark Sign Zuckerberg, up. if you do see me, I just need two billion dollars. Just two billion. That's all. Just he, two billion dollars. He doesn't so, actually have a yeah. Facebook account. If you wouldn't give Kanye <laughs> millions, <laughs> he thought no. he'd give you billions. <laughs> the scariest thing, right? I'm going to say this. This is going to sound so contradictory because I'm in the, in the media business right now. The scariest thing um, I heard once to say, social media and our cell phones are making us so much less efficient than what we would be without them. Um, that so, is true. That, that, to an extent, is so true. This guy was talking about how they had 10 people at a dinner and after they were done eating they had to split the bill and someone took out their phone to go into the calculator to divide it by 10. I mean I was shocked. I was like, to, to my core. Uh, I'm like does someone actually not know how to divide by 10 from the top of their head? Um, yeah I mean Stello. we're not gonna mention yeah, names. Himself, right? <laughs> we're not gonna mention <laughs> names but I mean psh, why create a calculator if you're not gonna put it in use? Stella, no 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 no. Okay. Anyway, that's you are shaming you right now. <laughs> Let us look English. that way and shame you. I'm not shaming you, nothing. But nah. I, I'm just saying. Let's man, shame some you. of us. But no, just, those are the dire effects of people who are who are addicted to to social, social media. media. I mean, or it just could be the fact that they just really don't like maths and they just bad at maths. No, I don't think that's the issue. That's basic math. That's not math. You know no. anyone? has a learning problem and a learning disability I will excuse in a split second anyone else if or if you didn't go to school 
anyone else besides, and if you weren't homeschooled, mm. anyone else besides those three categories cannot be excused from being able to divide by 10. I could divide by 10 before I could divide by 7. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, I've, I've been uh, re-teaching myself maths like on YouTube, like YouTube clips and stuff like that, like percentages and stuff like that, like some seriously complicated stuff. So, And what have you learned? Congratulations. I've learned how to, like, uh, how to um, actually... What have you learned? How to increase percentages, decrease percentages, how to calculate increased percentages, Even decrease percentages. Elaborate. You, if, you, if, you, if you don't know what that means, bro, that means you just need to go. No, no, YouTube, I'm saying bro. give us numbers. Show us what you've learned. Don't say what you. Show us. I need a whole piece of paper to do that whole calculation, bro. Don't, don't. Sh come on, give me a piece of paper right now. I'll do it for you. You give me any amount, I'll do it. I'll calculate. We're gonna it's do okay. this right it's now. It's okay, right? man. It's okay. I believe you. There's one person who believes you on the show. It's me. All right. Thank you, I know you got me. I know you got me. I, I think you, it's bro. the episode from last week that got him going back to school. <laughs> what are you talking about? He exposed himself last about week. About what? About your grades. Oh, the grades thing. Yeah. No, that was what a grades? slip up. That was a slip up. What grades? Yeah. When you told us how weak you were in school. Yeah, because I wasn't serious about school back then. Yeah, that's the problem with everyone. Yeah. No well, one's dumb. Yeah, that's hundred percent. I actually, to be to be honest with you, that's that's one thing I pure. That's one thing I believe to my core that I don't believe. In stupidity. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe God would create anybody and make them with, stupid. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I honestly hundred believe that when God creates someone and mm -hmm. God when God creates a human being, He creates them with the capacity to learn, mm -hmm. to be able to learn the ability to be able to learn absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Like you can catch on to absolutely anything. Like I believe that to my core, a hundred percent. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow. Like I once got a hundred percent at math, okay, in high school, bro. Like I couldn't believe it. I, was like, I also don't believe it. Like I, I was like, what? What is happening here? But then at some point, I dropped grades because, um, like my math grades, because mm -hmm. I lost seriousness. I lost concentration. I was just like, I didn't care about it. Okay. Yeah. But I, I, that's why I hundred. Uh, that's why I absolutely hundred percent believe that anyone can learn absolutely anything. But you know what? I agree with you. It was an open protest. No. Wow. You know, actually, is that where you're gonna go? I agree with you. You know what happened in my life? Yeah. In high school, as when I was diverse so far from the blueprint, but that's okay. <laughs> I was always good at maths. Yeah. I'm mean, grade eight, the ninth grade, then we got to the tenth grade, and then we chose subjects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was incredible. So in, in South Africa, they offer two types of maths. There's, there's maths literacy, yeah. and then there's, there's, there's pure, pure maths, maths, which is proper, proper maths. I don't know why so people keep saying I go to pure maths, and I do maths, mathematics. I'm that girl. In the 10th grade, our second term, I realized I was not that girl. <laughs> but I lied to myself. This is the crazy That's part. Crazy. I lied to myself. I kept going for the next two years. When I got to the 12th grade, which was the last year of high yeah. school, I left. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna match the receipt. I will not make it if I stay there. Are you serious? I, 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 I that, that, That's crazy because in grade 10, that's where I got my 100%. Really? Man? Yeah, for real. And now that's when I got, I started getting enlightened. <laughs> I, I got enlightened, the light, I see the light shining. I mean, wow. when I got to the 12th grade, man, so there was a white light, and I went into the white light. And got into maths. No. And I passed it, yeah, man. 70s. The, the one subject I switched was uh, um, accounting because I, I, I did accounting and I was doing so well in accounting at grade eight, like grade eight, grade nine, General major, grade ten. I was doing you. so well. I was passing accounting, but then I got lazy. I was like, like grade eleven, I got really lazy. I was like, okay, you know what? Like, this thing is a lot of work. And I'm hearing people in geography are passing without any effort. Mr. Mooman is literally giving them free periods. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this class, man. I'm going to I'm not going to geography. That's just a dumb move. But anyway. But you know what, kids? Work hard, man. Work hard. And if it's not working, leave. That's all I have to say, kids. If 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 you're doing a subject, work hard at it. If it's not working, take something else if you're inclined to do something else. But if you really, really love it, stick it out, work hard and do it. I really, really didn't love meds, so I left her. I mean, I was like, I, I, I yeah. agree with that. The blueprint does motivational speaking. I, no, I, I agree with that. Let me tell you why. One of, my, one of my biggest regrets was not leaving the high school I was in to go to NSA, National School of Arts in South Africa, oh, in yeah. Joburg. That's one of my biggest regrets. Obviously, yeah, I don't regret it anymore, but like, I, that's, that's, one of, that's, a, that, that's a regret that used to be a regret. Okay, does it make sense? 
Okay, but basically because they at my school um, and as a it was a multicultural multiracial school or whatever. You, you but they probably it, didn't offer all those. But they don't. They don't offer like the arts the way I needed the arts. They offered art. They offered uh, music, but it wasn't. It was like choir, man. Like. Like no one wants to do. Who wants to do choir oh, when you trash. when you want to go to and uh, be? You know, I always wanted to be in that's the choir. That's not dumb, dumb choir, choir. No, 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 choir. I no, I mean, I'm, 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 what I'm choir. saying is, who wants to do choir when you want to be a solo artist? You understand what I'm saying? Like when you, especially a, a rap artist, that's choir right. doesn't offer that for you. But you First learn how all, to read and write music. True. Yeah. First of all, so choir has Fifty Cent just used the choir at his premiere. Okay. Oh. Um, you need that you information. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm yeah, hearing but what if you go to NSA, they're gonna offer you that and more. Do they offer choir? Yeah, well. Because I how, went to. A how, music how is it a national school of arts and they don't offer you choir? First of all, I went to a music school. Choir was not part of. In high school. No, I'm talking after. They didn't have choir, school, man. High school is trash, man. They how could they not have choir? I feel if I had choir in my life, man, I could probably sing today. My problem with singing is not it's not the voice. It's that I don't know I don't know what the difference between a note and a key. I don't know how to hold a note and a key. And then they like stay in harmony. I'm like, what does that mean? And then and then the crazy thing is my sister, because she sings, and my brother. And then they harmonize and then I'm singing with them, then we all harmonize. I get excited and I lose they say I lose the key. And I don't know what that means. And I I didn't know I lost the key. But then apparently I lost the key. I was like, it's confusing to me, all of it. Same thing with me, to be honest with you, 100%. I used to be part of a, a youth, um, youth choir, all right? Uh, I won't mention names, but I used to be a part of a youth choir. <laughs> and I remember we'd do practice, right? And uh, we had... Um, um, that wasn't quiet. Yeah? That wasn't quiet. You were doing backups. Yes, yes, yes. I was doing back, back up. Yeah, mm. back up. Were you back up or was it quiet? I was, I was back, back up. up. I was doing oh, yeah, oh, back up. Oh, because yeah. choir sings. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There's True. no lead. 100%. I, but same thing, different, whatever. Okay. But anyway, not same thing, but you get what I mean. But anyway, so so we're doing like, um, um, we're doing, I was just thinking, yeah, um, practice, right? And we've got like uh, the lead singer. Um, for main church back then, which was Lizanne, and she was like training us and whatnot. And she's like, like, um, yeah, you, you just, you just do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> training everyone. <laughs> and she's training everyone else. I was oh, like, oh my man, I'm like, because I just, I just can't hold a note, man. I just, I just cannot, bro. You know what I mean? I just, now I just prefer my. Now it explains. I just, I just prefer <laughs> doing me, man, for real. Now like, it explains why he was on some Steve's, um his current worship leader, why she's the best. No. Man, why not? He's still don't, salty don't about try that whole situation. No, 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 no. Don't no. try no. and You know what? Since Something we struggle with, with the same thing, I'm going to stand up for Steel and Sam. Don't try. Holding a key and a note is quite difficult, guys. Is, are they the same thing? I don't know. I'm not I, I, too I, sure. I don't know. But you know what? Stemming from, because all this music I think it's talk, the same thing. I think, we, I think we also just have to slide this in here because we're digressing so much. About um, Blueprint, Blueprint Media yeah. has a department called Blueprint Records, which is the music department. And I think all of this is dealt with and is taught, not taught, won't say taught, yeah. but I think... Um, you do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you come needing a specific element, then you, you, you'll get it from Blueprint Music. Um, the other department is Blueprint Photography. Um, Randy heads up Blueprint Music, Stello and Randy head up Blueprint Sessions, and then I head up um, Blueprint Photography, which has been such a fun experience because I only... Admin. <laughs> <laughs> and admin. Um, yeah, no, she does a lot of things. I, I do, I, 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 do, I do. She was the she's, she's, she like the, she's like the pillar, or she's like the pillar of Blueprint Media, though, to be honest. Let's be honest, 100%. First of all, then you know how much I do. You know how much I do. He does a lot of stuff I, on his laptop. I I know. He he, he sleeps on me. He, he like he cuts he and chops tracks and stuff. It's cool. Like it's great. I do graphic design. What too. I'm saying is, she's like the pillar of Blueprint Media. Though. I'm 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 not okay. denying. All right, cool. I'm just gonna. But I'm, I'm more like the artwork. I, but it's okay. But I'm the blueprint. Though. Okay, we can agree to disagree, man. That's cool. Are, are you guys all right? Yeah. No, we're not alright. I'm cool, man. It seems like you're so salty. I ain't got, what? About what? 
so done with I'm the two of you kidding, guys. Man. So, uh, so done. But we do want to do a Blippin Sessions live. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, when Jay was here, um, he was wearing a Premier Hotel jersey. He works at ICC. Soon, hopefully, if everything goes right, um, we're going to partner up with ICC and we're going to make Blueprint Sessions go live, man. What do you mean? We want to do a Blueprint Sessions live. Yeah, but what you're talking about? Like these discussions ICC. we have, yes. we're going to do gonna... it. To sp- oh to they, they, they're going to oh. sp- sponsor us, man. Oh, okay. This is why we See, don't involve this, you this in conversation. Why, no, 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 no. Because no, no, no. you're too why. slow to understand no. anything. Hell no, oh, I'm not uh-huh, too man. slow. Uh-huh. I'm actually, we just said there's no such thing. Hell no, I'm actually... Uh, nah. This dude here, right, likes just venturing and talking about stuff that... Because I'm the idea I have no guy. information about it. And I don't have no information about it. Get a phone still. No, dude, I'm in the building like almost every day. No, you're not. Do you know how hard it is to well, get you on, just to come and record? Did you, did you not see me last week? Last week. When last week? Okay. No. I, yeah, I thought as much. On. I thought as much. Dude, anyway, <laughs> why are you even week? talking about this? Anyway. We were talking about great okay, ideas. Yeah. Right? Anyway. ICC, we come. Um, what else do you want to venture into? Wait, I'm, I'm ICC, working on wait, this project. Wait, wait. ICC, Gina, you know, I'm going to let him explain that to you. Okay, After this hours? is the idea that I had. Oh. Uh-huh. So um, w- when I watched the the finished product of the whole situation, I noticed Jay's jersey, premium hotel, and it kept, like, it was bothering me. I was like, because it was in my face. And I was like, wow, we can get them to sponsor us so we can do live sessions at ICC. Mm-hmm. So we they get us a room. Because obviously they have those nice rooms there, and there's obviously stages there. We can do this, have a panel, and have people there. We have these discussions, then we have uh, questions and answers type of situation. But it's not official. Not official yet. I just said it's an idea. Why are you not listening, man? No, you, like you said it like it was official, bro. When you said it, you said it like it was official. It's happening. Okay. It's just that it's not on paper yet. Uh, is that what is that your definition of official? It, it being on paper. Yeah. But in terms of verbal agreement, it's there. Pretty much. Alright. Uh, then it's solid. Then no, there's no problem. Then it's happening. It's official. Yeah. I feel no, like... it's not official. Ah, oh, get... It's not on paper. Did I not just say it? Hey, I'm not gonna join these arguments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go around and round in circles. <laughs> Round and round in so many circles. No, I just feel like he likes disagreeing with me, honestly speaking. Because this was the cause cause of blueprint sessions. Because now I'm agreeing with him, and then he's turning switching, and now he's disagreeing with me. But this was the cause of blueprint sessions. Because people don't know. I think you guys argued over something in in, in his office. And then from there was birth blueprint sessions. And now you guys come here and you argue in front of other people. We battle it out. Actually, um, let's not make it seem as if we ever agree. We always argue. So we said, instead of just arguing in the hallways like we normally do, let's do it you know, in front with of microphones. And make them uncomfortable. <laughs> because these are the arguments that people have daily. Do you know how uncomfortable arguments make other people? Why? They make them pretty uncomfortable. You like spectating to an argument. it's fun to us, though. Yeah. It's like, it's like combat sport. Yeah. With words. Yeah. Yeah, well... We artists. Yeah. yeah. So worried about you. <laughs> so worried about you guys. No, but like there are things that we can agree on. I think you Such know what I mean. Like if, if just just if you can list five from the top of your head. Um, um, uh, Lecrae, Lecrae album, Lecrae album. Uh, that that the um, the previous one. Yes. Yeah, that was dope. Hundred percent. Four forty four. Okay, and that's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can agree. We can agree on that. Wait, why is there hesitation? We can hesitation? agree on that. No. Yeah, why is there hesitation? You, you see? One. No. Why was there hesitation? Why is he trying to... Do... I agree with that. Let's keep, let's, let's keep it moving. Number two? Just kill my vibe. Nazir? Yeah, hands down. Classic of the year. <laughs> oh, man, this dude is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
this it. dude, man. Anyway, we can agree on some stuff. Like, literally, like, if it's, yeah. like, really, really good and we really vibe with something and we're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. then we, yeah. yeah. That was too. But it's, just, it's just that sometimes his taste is just weird. Like, he's just got a weird taste in music sometimes. I'm like, mm. You've said some things about Michael Jackson. Yeah. So you wait, cannot wait, speak wait, on music. By the way, thank you. By you the way, cannot thank speak you. Wait, hold on, hold a on. word about music. By the way, I have to. I absolutely have to take back what I said last week when I said what I said about MJ. No, I you have can't. no idea what was going through my head. It's that, out there. No, you no, can't no, take it no, back. No, I understand it's out there. So, like, if someone sees that episode, then they'll probably think I'm, I, I'm still on that steez. But actually, really, like, I, I was watching the thing, and I'm like thinking, I'm like, am I nuts? I'm like slapping myself on, nuts. on the thingy. Bro, MJ. He's dead. What you say? He passed away. He's dead. Oh, yeah. my but, God. But, like, honestly, 100%, he, he is uh, one of the best. Do you know how I felt one when you said the this stuff huh? that you said? <laughs> one of the best? No, but I'm not going to say the best because he he's is not the best. best. Who is the best? Bro, why does the whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on? Still whoa, count your man, words. Whoa. This 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 is my count problem. This, this is my issue. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna vent. This is my issue. Why oh, God. why does there have to be a number one artist? Oh, like he's the best out of everybody else. Like why can't everyone just be okay? Yeah, yo, bro, you're the best. Oh, you too, you're the best. Oh, you're one of the best. One of the best. Okay, so can, can I like ask a, you a question? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a hub. This is not kiddie soccer, man. You're not just gonna give everyone an award <laughs> for being on the team. For participating, man, like this oh. is not kiddie. This is real stuff. Look, I can understand that when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to soccer, that that whole Messi Ronaldo debate. You understand? Of course, and it's, it remains. Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. World Cup 2018 trash. Uh, back to what we were saying about... Uh, actually, it's debatable, but all right. 20, 2010 is still the best World Cup, okay? <laughs> right, when your country got knocked out. No, I don't care about <laughs> South Africa. The issue... In, like, the no, first no, round. that was the best World Cup ever, though. That was... With the, the, with the Vuvuzelas. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, do, I, do, they, do they still have them at the World Cup? Because I haven't been watching this one. But I keep hearing on Twitter, Uruguay is going one places. Match. I'm like, okay. Uruguay. Okay, we're not I talking about soccer. Look, let me tell you. Back to music. Brazil. First of all, Michael Jackson is the best, hands down. He's one of the best. No, 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 no. One of he the is best. the best. Hundred percent. I agree with I, that. I, I don't even I put to pass one of the best. Out there. I, no, we're it, close no, to no, him. No, 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 not, not even close. Not even close. Michael Jackson is not the a, best, hands down. Okay. I wanna, my, 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 only, my only problem with that, when you say he's the best artist, is that now you, where, where do you leave Elvis Presley? Where do you leave, you understand? Where do you leave? What, you're going to put Elvis with Michael Jackson? Where are you going to leave them? Are you drunk? Because, because that's the thing. That's second Elsie. place. That's where nah. we're going to leave them. Nah, 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 Not nah, even nah, second nah, place. Nah, 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 First of all, I'll nah. put the Beatles before I put Elvis Presley. No. Elvis Presley. Presley. No, no. But that's the, but that's the thing, right? Uti, for you, he might be the best. And that's that's okay. That's that's your opinion. John Lennon is better than freaking what's Hold this on. guy. And that's El, your opinion. Elvis. But to someone who is a rock fan. Un Uncle Mark, who is Uncle Mark? But to someone who is a rock fan, right? right? He's a rock fan. El Elvis Presley is is the best. Who's who's the best for you, Uncle best? Mark? Rock. Between it's Elvis the and um Beatles. Yeah. See, so, so, thank you. So, it's the so, Beatles. Okay, cool. So it's the Beatles. He it's listens fine. to rock. So it's, so it's fine. So the Beatles are the best. You that don't know rock can stick with Elvis. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What I'm saying, what what I'm saying is, your your best might not be my best. You understand? And so, that's so that's what the problem. Seen because your views are trash. No, no, no. But no, that's no. okay, Steve. But that's what I'm saying. Would you you are moved by this generation. You are a Scorpion, Migos, and Lovey. You know, I cannot believe. He Your put playlist is Migos very real. and Michael Jackson in, in the, the same, same category. Caliber. I didn't put Migos. You did. <laughs> did you he not listen like, to the episode? Yeah, no. I'm like, that was disgusting. Are you yeah. talking about them as though they, as were, they were equals? Oh, guys, equals. I was making, I was making an example. You would say, oh my goodness. But you still, see, still, still, oh still, how can you make an example of a salmon and a great white? How can you make hold that example? On, hold on, hold on. A salmon to a great wait, white shark. Wait, please hold on. This is just getting out of hand, okay? You got Literally, out of hand. it's getting out of hand. Yes, it is. Hold no, on, can no, no, we wrap no, no, this no. up? No, no, because no. we'll, uh, we'll wrap this, we'll wrap, we'll wrap it up. But I have to uh, apologize. 
Repent. No. I have to go on a clarify. Fast. I have to clarify. Go on a cleanse. I wasn't saying. Sack I was I was definitely. He probably got heat. Now he's coming no, back to I come and apologize. No, no, no. You know what? I don't I, think I we can take back his apology. What we need, we need, no. we need, we need yeah, to I'm do. Yeah, I'm not going to accept his apology. We need to. We apologize. Step one. Repent. <laughs> step two. <laughs> Go on a fast, no. step three, hold on, hold on, and hold on, put on, on some sackcloth, cut wait, some sand, and cut your hair. No, That's no, no, the no. only thing that will hold make on. up wait, for wait, what wait. you said. Wait, wait. I have to, I have to clarify. I was not at all saying Migos, Michael Jackson, saying nah, never. Okay, never. I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, Uti. Michael Jackson used to, you know, set trends and whatnot, and Migos, when it comes to the sound of hip hop right now. Michael Jackson was not hip-hop, you understand? But he influenced hip-hop. He did, 100%. He influenced rock. That's why he's he, the greatest. He influenced hip-hop, he influenced some forms some of rock. Every music genre. Exactly, EDM, he, he influenced almost every... That's but why not, not even pop. Pop. Don't, don't, That's don't, not don't, why don't even Michael Jackson. Don't say every music genre. Every music because genre. Because there are over 2,000 music genres, like genres of music. So don't, don't say every... First of all, every music genre. You see, okay. you see, Every music genre. I'm not gonna argue with that because now that's even that's, your gospel artist. That's, that's ridiculous. How do you argue with that? Uh, of course you can't argue. It. It's, it's Michael Jackson. Right? It's Michael Jackson. <sighs> it's it's MJ and man. Look, I first, okay. I just what I said last week about MJ. I retracted. There's no ways. You understand? Please apologize to the I ears apologize. that heard it. Repent. Okay, I'm not going to But I don't forgive Fast. you. You guys shouldn't. Set to the guys that rob Steel, please rob him again. Just make sure no. you beat him up this time. Please, please. come through. I'm begging you. He's got pepper I'm spray so now. Prepared. He's they, been they, waiting to they, use this paper actually, spray. Actually, he even used it on himself. Actually, That's how bad he's been itching to use this paper spray. They, they actually, they actually they, someone um this week... You said that on the podcast last week that you sprayed no, them. I, never, and I didn't pepper spray myself. Because you're making it look like I just... You did. Okay. Did that? you learn that eye roll from the lady who does the makeup? Because <laughs> it's very feminine eye roll. You're like, uh, this is so feminine. Oh, man, Steph, you know what they That's trolling? The they trolling. Let me wrapping this up, man. There's no ways I'm going to win here. All right, let's go. It's okay. We forgive you. Man, um, up, man. I'm so sad that we got sidetracked so many times. Yeah. But that's how we do things at the print sessions, okay? But I think we got the gist of what Blueprint Media is all about. Yeah. Which is what is, well, you know, the point of the whole podcast. I hope you did, because... Oh, I did. Yeah. If, 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 if you can explain it to me, man, you've explained it to a little kid, man. You did. Because you and a little kid have the same mindset. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, it's categorizing again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was, I was asking Michael for Jackson, that one. I was asking for that one. Steel, hey, little kids, you know what? Same I was asking groups. for that one. <laughs> Let's go. Let's you always want to introduce hey. things. Yeah. Um, right. But guys, it's been a uh, fun and very weird and very confusing episode. Um, Lambs? I think we should call it sidetracking blueprint. Because <laughs> we sidetrack Blueprint so much. Definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Handles? Um, Blueprint Handles is Blueprint Media on all social media platforms. And then um, my handles is at Real Lamlela, which is R E A L M L. Wait. Lambs. Oh. Lambs. No. no. <laughs> Lambs. Come on. Yeah. How can you forget this is, your own? This is, this, is, this is what you could. You know when the, when the Bible says, you know? It, the, the, uh, Why are you touching Okay, never mind. <laughs> and, eh? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. It's R E A L A M L E L A. The only reason I got confused uh, is because my name has a lot of L's. And then I. That's, that's only reason. Yeah. That's the only reason. It only so, has two, though. There's three. Lamlela, L-A-M-L-E-L-A. -L -E -L -A. Oh, yeah, three. So, yeah, the, um, across all media, social media platforms. Real Lamlela. You Real haven't been Lamlela. active on Twitter also, I've, I've noticed. Yeah. Of course you wouldn't um, notice because you're on Twitter. See, this is what happened. I explained what happened real quick. Uh, I noticed I was a bit dependent on Twitter for a lot of things. And so I was like, no, really? man. What? For, like... Entertainment, uh, interaction. News. That's um, why I get my news, man. News. Uh, um, yeah, because y'all don't updates. read. Sports updates. So I was like, yeah. man, I can't have my whole life circulating around one app. 
So I was just like, what's like, next? What? Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You see? Okay, I get yeah, that. That's the yeah. problem with this generation. Your handles were? Um, Steel underscore Lamini, S-T-E-E-L underscore Lamini, okay? D-H-L-A-M-I-N-I. That's it. That's it, that's Twitter. Do you notice that you give three E's? No. You say S-T-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-